please hit like and subscribe. It lets myself and YouTube know you're enjoying these videos. Hey everybody, this is Dave with Mars or Bust. I got up this morning to find out that the tank that SpaceX was working on didn't hold up. I figured this was going to happen, being this was a test tank and that they were going to take it up the limit. And being it's under pressure, it's actually a vessel, not a tank. The question is, what is that limit and where did it fail? Let's take a look at some of the pictures. This is the tank here. And normally where I've seen failures in the past is at the transition area between the shell and the head. These weld seams are going to be the weakest point. Okay, let's zoom in on the failure video and see if we can determine where that failure actually was. The video is not real clear, but from what I can tell, it looks like we may have had a failure in two locations, here and here. The thing we have to realize here is this was an intentional overlimit event. The point of this is to find out where the weak spots of this vessel are. It looks like we had a loss of pressure in these two locations. According to Elon's tweet today, the vessel made it to 7.1 bar, which means it was a successful test. 6 bar is needed for orbital flight. SpaceX is actually looking to get to 8.5 bar which gives it a factor of safety of 1.4. The other thing you got to realize is any test that there isn't human life lost is a successful test. In the meantime, you guys have a wonderful evening and be safe. We'll see you soon.